This is actually my dream job. I came here when I was 10 and I was absolutely hooked. I told my dad I was gonna live and work here. I remember walking around the cavern and looking into all of those uh, crevices and those black voids and just being like, what is in there? I have to know. I'm Cassidy Esposito and welcome to Outside Science, Inside Parks. For Jenna and the Night Skies team at Carlsbad Caverns, it's all about keeping the bats happy, the park healthy, and the night dark. That's why in this episode, you'll see a lot of filming in infrared, just like this. You know, six months ago, I never thought this much about stars. Um, and now when I wake up every day, I'm thinking about what meteor shower is going on. What is the weather looking like? You know, what moon cycle are we in? Um, you know, the po light pollution around us. Here at Carlsbad Caverns National Park, we have seen big changes in our night sky in recent years, in part due to, to development. And so it's important for us to monitor what those changes and track the trends uh, in, the, in the night sky. The cave and the environment are interconnected. Um, so what happens on the surface is gonna impact what's in the cave. In the cave are our bat friends. They obviously want a nice night sky um, in order to come out and find their moths. Carlsbad Caverns is home to uh, a number of species of bats, including uh, Brazilian freetail bats. In fact, we have a colony of over 100,000 Brazilian freetails, and we have visitors that come here like every night to watch a bat flight program and watch the amazing emergence of this very large colony. The night sky is important for these bats. Dark skies uh, help them hide from predators, and uh, Sources of light will um, cause changes to the way uh, their food source, the moths, uh, you know, behave and where they're located. Point straight up and then we'll do south, west, and then the, and, uh, one more back at north and that'll give us our five. Okay, cool. Okay. Very good. Um, we've kind of taken a three-pronged ap approach to monitoring sky luminance over time. Um, so our first approach would be uh, sky quality meters, which measures the luminance at night. So the face plate right here, when you face it up uh, towards the sky, it has a cone um, with sensors in it. So when incoming light, um, they activate the sensors and then it's able to give you a reading. Um, so for this model, it's a scale of one to 23. So one is gonna be very bright, like looking at the sun. And then 23 is gonna be um, complete darkness, like being inside of a cave. Our second approach would be our point source light pollution photos, which is just a great visual way to see how the basin is changing around us. It allows us to track over time the changes in the oil field, whether it's growing, um, expanding, how many flares we have, if that's uh, coming up more or less. Um, and then also as urban development continues in Carlsbad and the surrounding regions, it allows us to see um, the growth over time. And then our last approach is probably our hardest and most scientific is our estimated sky glow, which uses a, a camera essentially that is computer controlled and it sits on top of a monitor and it rotates around at night and it takes all these photos, which is a really great way to visually look at what we're doing and where our light pollution is coming from and the intensity of it. I am so happy that we have a Mosaics and Science intern. It's only with Jenna's help here this summer that we're able to, to make, move forward with this project. Well, I'm hoping One thing that I find really exciting about science um, is the new generation and how diversified it is. Um, I remember when I was growing up, I didn't really see a lot of people that looked like me in science and so growing up now and looking around um, I'm seeing a lot more females and a lot more um, Hispanic and like Native American and so that's really exciting. Kind of the more people and the bigger melting pot that we have um, the more colorful our science can become and hopefully the more helpful and interesting and digestible it is for people. Thank you for watching Outside Science Inside Parks. <laughs>